So we've plotted two complex numbers right over here on this argon diagram. And what I want to think about is what if we define a third complex number C as being equal to the complex number A minus the complex number B. What is C going to look like if we were to write it as just a, a sum of its real and imaginary parts? And what would it look like on this argon diagram? So let's just first think about this. So C is, let me do that yellow color. C is equal to A, which is the same thing as 6 plus 2i, 6 plus 2i minus, minus B. And what is B? B is 2 minus i. So when we're subtracting anything, we can distribute this negative sign. And so this would be the same thing. This would be equivalent to 6 plus 2i minus 2, minus 2, and then distributing the negative on a negative i, that's going to be a positive i, plus i, just like that. And now this is going to be equal to, this is going to be equal to, actually let me, oh, I'll do it right over here. This is going to be equal to, we can add our, we can add the real parts right over here. We have 6 minus 2, and so that's going to be 4. And then we can add, then we can add the 2i to the i, which is going to be 3i's, plus 4 plus 3i. And that is the complex number c. Now let's see why that actually makes sense when we, look, when, we view, when we visualize a and b as vectors. So this is b, but what we're essentially, when we do a minus b, that's essentially the same thing. That's the same thing as a plus negative b, a plus negative b. So what's negative b going to be equal to? Negative b is going to be equal to negative 2 plus i. I just, I just multiplied all the terms by negative 1. So what does that look like? Let's see, negative 2, negative 2 plus i gets us right over there. And we see we've essentially, we've essentially just flipped this vector over the origin. So this right over here is negative b. That is negative b. And we've already seen, if you're adding two things, we're going to add a to negative b. So we go, we've plotted a so that it's its tail's at the origin, its head is right over here. And then we could take the tail of b, uh, we take the tail of negative b, put it right over here. And then if you just shift it over, it's going to be, it's going, it goes two to the left and one up. Two to the left and one up. It gets to that point right over here. It gets to this point right over there. So that is this vector is another way to visualize negative b as a, as a vector. And so where our new head is, once we put the tail of negative b here, where our new head is, is going to be the head of our vector c. So c is going to be this vector right over here. c is going to be this vector right over here. It can be visualized as this vector right over here. And we see that is 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4 plus 1, 2, 3i. We see that right over there. So on one level, it's kind of you know straightforward manipulating expressions and just recognizing that you can only add the imaginary parts to the imaginary parts and the real parts to the real parts. And if you want to visualize it on an argon diagram, it really is analogous to adding, subtracting b from a is, is, is equivalent to adding the negative of b to a.